wait. Just wait. What are we doing today there, Johnny boy? Mud of the Mills? Drinking my second iced coffee. It's the white girl summer. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kodiak here, boys. Uh, this is it 2020? And girls. What year is this, Kodiak? <laughs> Do you know? Yeah, I don't I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, Newer Kodiak, anyways. I think it's 2020. Um, where's our kids? Over here. We got a wild boar racket going on. It's normal your ATV kit. Uh, the warrior ones. Uh, yeah, so we did do. Uh, <laughs> we did do a clutch job on this guy uh, four or five months ago. Anyway, she's back again. She's going to get snorkels and a racket done. But before we uh, start up, our friends at Kimimoto got a little gift there for John that he's going to open up. Oh lots of blade left on that. Oh, lots. What's in this? I don't know. I opened mine this already. This is really taped up. You what? I opened mine. Did you? Yeah. And you don't know what's in mine. I'm pretty sure it's probably the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Brian. Packaging department are on par. Oh yeah. Some more goodies. Feels like a pair of sunglasses. Oh, now we're getting on the for your Pepsi's. <laughs> yeah. This one is pretty cool. Yeah. It's actually pretty useful though. What's this one? That's how you mount it to your. I think it goes on your handlebars. Yeah. Or probably like here on your rack. Oh, that's cool. That's where it's going. I'm gonna put it on my foot peg for the passenger. There you go. That's an idea. Beverage holder. Yeah. Yes, yeah, boy, did we? Yeah, I got two of them. Cool beans. Pretty slick, what? Yeah, it's pretty fast, actually. Mm. Thanks, boss. Yeah, thank you. Longer. You look like Superman, only in reverse. Wow. Look, she's getting scrapped, boys. And girls, and folks, and everyone else. I don't know how, on what percent of uh, people are subscribed. No, no. Seriously though, this is becoming a real issue, okay? Like, I know some of you just watch because it pops up in your clickbait and everything else. But like, subscribe. We're not going to pump out bullshit ads. Or anything well, else. Maybe it's, a little bit. Maybe a little bit, but like it's not gonna be <laughs> annoying, okay? Like we're not gonna do annoying stuff. Like like I, I like I've subscribed to people and I've unsubscribed because they just get on with foolishness, okay? And like I watch one video, I'm like, yeah, that's deadly, subscribe. And then all of a sudden it's like, wow that's shit. Wow that's crap. Wow that's crap. Wow yeah, that's right? crap. And I'm like unsubscribe because it's just not good. It's just it's just boring now. I don't, you have one good video, wow okay, thanks. But like we're gonna try to do good videos all the time. You know, having a yarn here and there, doing the, some of this stuff here and there, like quad here and there. People in the comments know, yeah, I won't subscribe to you back in uh, 2019. They just got way too boring. And folks, okay, listen, we'll give you a benefit of the I really, I really do agree that maybe our channel did get a little boring, okay? But listen, I tell you, it got boring because life happened, and I have two beautiful little children. All right. One is 19 months, and one is four months old, and my time is certainly dedicated to them because they're going to be growing up sooner or later. And they're girls, no offense, they're girls, so they're not going to want to be doing anything with me at some point. And I'm just soaking up, you know, their younger years that I want to miss it. And, like, Dan over here picked up a full-time job, and, like, life just happened, people. And it's honestly been real tough to get it on the bikes. And honestly, I don't really like going when it's hot like this. i got to be honest, I really don't. Stuff catches a fire, it's just boring. It is boring. It does get boring, and... 
stuff breaks a lot. Yeah, so and like it's hard on the wallet. It is hard on the wallet. We don't get paid to do this. We're doing this for fun. So subscribe and a like and a comment goes a long ways, folks. We appreciate it. And we appreciate everyone that's already done that. You know, we're up over 2K. It's just huge. We started off with this with zero. And like it's happening. It's it's we're not claiming to be big people, but it's happening. It's best coin. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yamaha, let's make it happen. Whoever runs out, run out. I saw this old ride listed for sale, 10 years old, and it looked like hell. All my friends said don't, I replied, oh lord, it's an F-150 long bed Ford. It stores my tools, can haul a load, but it drinks up gas, and now I'm broke. Well, I jacked it up, put on, lifted off, road tires with B-Logs on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud, it wells the sand, it defines me. Um, one thing I do like about this Warrior Riser kit, um, snorkel kit, sorry, snorkel or ATV, uh, over the Into Deep, I know it's uh, Into Deep's a good kit, it's way easier to install. I gotta be honest, way easier to install. But these risers are awesome, like they come with pre filters, like that you can clip on, you can get these in all different colors. It's, 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 I, I really just clip it into the spot. And like I said, once you uh, figure out what color you want or your setup, you just glue it in and it's deadly. I really do like it. it it's yeah. more customization, you know? Yeah. You can make it your own more, despite the into deeps. My, I've made my into deep ones my own, but like, like I said, this is, these are, these are cool. They are cool, uh, snorkels. Because, I'll tell you one thing right now, those EHS friggin' pre-filters that are $30, Garbage. Not worth thirty dollars. There, I have one here. Yeah, glue them in. They're hard to put in. These here. Like they're good rigs. Yes, they're good for what they are. But like my bike, I put them on, and my quad, it, it got clogged with mud on the air filter. Like I'm pretty sure it's there to stop stuff from going in the air box. Yeah, it got clogged with mud and, or sorry, water. It clogged it up, and then she was losing power like she was not getting some, enough air and i had to drive a hole in it i was just like okay this is a waste of time so i took it off now i have none <laughs> they're i don't know i, I don't like them at all <laughs> they have these nice might do the this. same who knows they might absolutely do the same clog up with water and your uh your ride is a little bit dirty uh, give her a little wash here now Here and take one, and here and take two. They missed all that. Oh, uh, we're gonna leave the store here. You can just hold on to it while you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> Lost me weans. Those John. A little bit crispy. A little bit crispy there. Oh. The hot. The last wiener. The last wiener. Muddy Mills improved or what? <laughs> Money bills cook a mighty feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got one side pretty much done. Now I attack the other side. John said just a minute ago we're on the home run. We're almost done. 
We're kind of doing the rag kit and the snorkel job at the same time. Same time makes life a little bit easier. Oh, the most stressful time <laughs> is waiting for uh, this temperature to go up to make sure the fan works after a rad relocation. Very she works, but she has is, is between 200 and 209. It, it seems different for every bike we do. But anyways, that scared me. 207. All done, boys and girls. Rad and snorkels are done. We only got 5% battery left on the GoPro. Thanks for watching, guys. We got the snorkel kit and rack kit done. Uh, John, anything to say? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.